there, it's Jen Arkfeld with Stamp Silly, and I'm back again today for a Manic Monday video. This is week 12 in the series, and let's get after it, shall we? Alright, it's time to use up our celebration paper, because celebration is over today. Today's the last day. Makes me a little sad, but it's all good. That means new things are coming. So anyway, I'm just taking a piece, a, a strip of pattern paper. Um, I'm I'm creating a card today using the sketch from Retro Sketches this week, and decided that I would play along with them. And you know what? Their sketch looked pretty simple, so um, I figured, yeah, I can create one of those cards in under 10 minutes. Let's give it a shot. So my pattern piece pieces measure about one inch wide by four and a half inches long. And then I am just adhering them to a piece of black uh, cardstock that is just one eighth of an inch bigger in both directions. And just that one eighth of an inch makes a nice framed size for that. So I'm going to set that aside and let those dry. And then I have a piece of pool party cardstock. And for this today, I am going to use some um, Versamark ink and. I am using the stamp set Make a Cake, so I'm using the cake, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the cake, you basically build a cake. Um, so I'm going to use the bottom here and I stamp that in Versamark. And then I have the cake topper, I'm just going to pop that off of there and just reuse this block. Um, so here's another layer of cake. Now you'll notice that, well, granted mine's very dirty. Um, ink I can't get off of there, but I have trimmed my stamp, I trimmed the rubber away right up to where the um, image is so that I can easily layer these two pieces on top of each other. It really seems to help and I don't have to guess and I don't have to break out my stamp on a jig and that's a big bonus to me. Um, oh, you know what else? I want to put a little, um, I'm just going to use the little pinwheel for the top of that. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to use some Versamark, or some Versamark, some little, 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 some Whisper White embossing powder. Okay, and we did that. Now let's heat that up and see what we've got here. Okay, we've got that done, and I'm just going to get any loose bits off my um, paper here. Now I'm just going to take um, some markers, and I've got uh, Calypso Coral, and Wild Wasabi, and Coastal Cabana. And those aren't any colors that are in our pattern paper, but I find that when I am coloring on colored cardstock, to use a shade darker seems to work better. So I am just doing this and I'm using the brush end. I'm just going to go over this. Now wherever the embossing powder is, your marker is not going to um, penetrate. So I just take a clean Kleenex and just dab over the top to remove any of that ink off of that embossing powder because it will um, it will smear later on since it won't penetrate through that embossing powder and you know what you do not want a smeared card later on okay so this is Coastal Cabana and I'm going over it a couple of times just so you don't see the streaks of the markers um, that irritates me and therefore I am super duper excited about Stampin' Up bringing out new markers which will be available May 1st How's that for fun stuff? These markers will still be available and I still love these markers. It's just I want to be able to blend and color with my markers a little bit more. Okay, now let's do the um, pinwheel. And I'm actually going to use the tip end of this to color in these uh, 
the bigger portions of the pinwheel and this will give it more realistic look because then I'm going to color in those smaller portions with the um, Coastal Cabana color and I again I'm going to use the um, fine tip end that way I can get in there real well okay all right so there we have that awesome right We'll set those markers aside. This I'm going to adhere to a piece of basic black cardstock, and it is also cut just one inch or an eighth of an inch, excuse me, larger than this pool party piece. This pool party piece is uh, one and a half inches wide by three and three quarters inches long. Okay, so then my black piece is just an eighth of an inch wider and an eighth of an inch longer. Okay, we have that. Now we just need our card base. And our card base is crisp cantaloupe. I'm going to fold that over and use my bone folder there. And I'm going to place these on here for spatial reasons, just so I can see how far apart I want those. Because you know you want that you want that pattern paper to show some, so I think that looked pretty good. So I'm just going to adhere these strips down. I'm going to make sure those get straight here. I can usually eyeball that pretty well just with my grid paper. I would definitely be lost without my grid paper. I am constantly using it to line things up. Um, okay, so there we have that. And then, you know what, I'm going to adhere this on to the top with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we'll get these the backing peeled off. That's the hardest job, I think, sometimes. But I love... Stampin' Dimensionals are probably one of my all-time favorite product. I think I use them on about everything I create, just because I like that added dimension. Okay, that looks really good. We'll stick that on. And now we need a sediment. And... I'm also going to take first before we add our sentiment I'm just going to take some of the um, twine that came in the Sweet Sorbet uh, celebration set that came with twine and some cork embellishments and this twine is super thick and I'm so I'm only going to use a portion of it um, so all I did was I just pulled that apart and I'm just going to um, I'm kind of just going to add this in a in a hot mess here across the bottom of the card. Yep, looks good. Right? I'm seeing this done everywhere. I think I used this last week on our on my card. Um, but I kind of like just the look of the hot mess and especially with a birthday card. To me it looks like um, confetti. Okay, here I have a scrap of Whisper White and I'm going to use the Happy Birthday Sentiment from Banner Greetings which is a hostess set, so you earn that free when you hostess a uh, crafting class. Oopsie, I bit that bad. Let's see, we'll try that one more time. Okay, let's stamp that on there. I won't, that looks better. And that was, um, I just used Black Stays on ink for this. And I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. It's got good straight lines, so it makes it easy just to cut out by hand. Um, oops. If there was a punch for it, I'm sure 8,000 of us would be all over that. Or maybe 800,000 of us. All right. So now I just need to add my sentiment, and I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals for that also. Oopsie. I need to get that twine really into that glue I kind of missed there. There we go. Okay, so my back to my Stampin' Dimensionals with my sentiment. I'm never shy with my Stampin' Dimensionals, you'll notice. Two on this little tiny piece? Eh, yeah. Why not, right? Okay. 
there we have it. I think that looks pretty good. And I love the look of this hanging out there. I don't know if I like that. I can scoot this strings under there. Maybe not. Oh well. It's all good. There is our card for Manic Monday week 12. What do you think guys? I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget my little tip about snipping, um, snipping this off until you just right up to the limit. Um, it really helps and it will make your life much easier. So there we have it. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll catch you next week at StampedSilly.com. Bye.